All right. So we're coming out with another. I know late review. I haven't done any in a while. Um, as you can see, just got done watching the birds of prey. Well, it's called now. They changed the name to Harley Quinn Birds of Prey. Like it's not even. First of all, they're really not even the birds of prey until the very end. And what I mean is, they're named exactly at the end of birds of prey. And she's not even involved in that group. So I'm like, it's like Harley. It's Harley Quinn meets the soon-to-be birds of prey. Like she is she part part of the group in the comics? I assume, but here she isn't. It's. A police, a ex, uh, ex police officer, lady detective, and then a meta human girl, uh, Black Chantry, or uh, I mean Black Canary, and Huntress, who's an assassin. But in Harley, yeah, she's not even part of the Birds of Prey. So I'm like, why even call this that? Like it should've been. But anyway. Movies written by Christina, what, Christina Hudson, I, Hudson, I believe, who wrote uh, Bumblebee, which I love. I think that's the best Transformers film. I don't mind the Michael Bay films, which is the first two, the fourth is okay. Third one sucks balls. Uh, the fifth one, uh, last night, I actually don't mind elements of it uh anyway the dc movies uh versus marvel i'm not a marvel fan much i love ultron uh first avengers is okay winter soldier sucks balls i don't care for that movie civil war is okay uh again most of the marvel movies i'm not a fan of uh dc i haven't seen shazam i heard good things about it, but <laughs> Doesn't mean I'll like it. Um, what else? Wonder Woman, I have. I actually like, but maybe I'll review that or do a commentary on it someday. Or, uh, uh, Green Lantern, I actually, unlike a lot of people ha that hate it and crucify it, I actually enjoy the movie. Uh, what else? Batman vs. Superman it has problems, but at the same time, I, I don't mind it. I like I like Batman and Ben Affleck's back Batman. I like how he brands people. Brands, brands people. <laughs> like that's different for Batman to do. Okay, it's a bit dark, really. Um, Joker, I you know, I'm not a fan of that movie. I saw it. I'm not a fan. Maybe I'll review. Maybe I'll do a review on it someday if anybody's interested. Maybe I'll give my thoughts on that. But yeah, I'm not a fan of it. Anyway, it's Suicide Squad. I I own Suicide Squad. The director's cut is a joke. <laughs> I would just say that I I like the movie, but the director's extended edition or whatever. Yeah, right. So only two or three extended small added end scenes. Didn't even. Like, I would like more Joker or whatever Harley with Joker scenes. They they kind of butchered that movie a little bit in the editing room. But I still like it anyway. I I'll defend that movie. Um. But anyway, coming off of that movie and then entering Harley as her own solo, which yeah, this was dated back in 2016, I guess after. Suicide Squad was, I don't know about it, I, I believe it was sort of it, it was critically hated by people, I believe critics maybe liked it, I think, or maybe some, I know some people enjoyed it, I'm not the only one, but uh, yeah this movie, I mean, what really to say, like she, her and the Joker break up, or, well, I guess, or he, he broke up with her, technically. She didn't break up with him, he broke up with her, so I'm like, 
even though people are keep saying so she broke up with the Joker. No, he kicked her out pretty much, and she was crying over it at the beginning. Oh yeah, they they shade Jared Leto's Joker so bad, like, and it's so like. We don't want you sitting at our lunch table, Tucker. We don't want to be seen with you out in public. Okay, you're not popular. You never will be. I I actually didn't mind his Joker and Suicide Squad. I think he could have been. But he didn't really need to be in it more than what he was because it wasn't about him. Like it was about Enchantress, and her brother, that guy. So I I gotta def I'll defend Jared Leto's Joker because I actually it was different. It was sort of Jack Nicholson a little bit, a bit, but such as the moth the gangster part of it. But he kind of did his own thing, more in insane suicide, not suicide, but insane animalistic type of high on cocaine thing. So I, I didn't mind his Joker. I thought it was all right. I do like to wonder. I do wonder what the scenes with him and Harley were, if they added them in. I know a few of them were were they showed the relationship, the real relationship between them, and then they cut it for, oh, they don't want to uh, show a, abuse to a woman. <laughs> Whatever. And that's part of the character's history. Like you can't just. I mean, I guess they can because they did it. It was a creative choice, but this movie, she gets kicked out of the Joker's life. He wants nothing to do with her, and it does open with a, a cool uh, cartoon animation thing where she's narrating her whole life story, sort of. Um, but yeah, she it she she narrates really throughout the movie, really, which I kind of I didn't mind. I actually liked it. I do like the, I don't mind the look of Harley in this one, but I like Suicide Squad better, but to each your own, I guess. Um, Huntress, for, she Harley is in this movie for, like, I mean, I don't understand what that was all about, maybe she was filming another movie at the time or something, or, because her scenes are kind of short, but she's like not really in the movie, like she's. She kills like a mob leader guy, and then she's gone throughout the rest of the movie, and then she pops in when uh, Harley and the uh, Cassandra Kane, I believe, the Kane girl, they're at the, uh, I guess this is a restaurant house building thing, uh, duplex place, where Harley stays as well, but then that guy, he's a I don't want to call him a douchebag because he, he kind of he sold her out, but at the same time as they trashed his restaurant and probably threatened him, or well, he took the money, but you know, I mean, five thousand dollars on, yeah, I know where she is uh, at my place, but yeah, everybody pretty much now that everybody knows that her and Joker split, they decide to. Everybody wants a re wants revenge on Harley. So it was, I would have liked it. It could have been cooler. If, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, it reminded me of the Warriors, except less cool. <laughs> because in that movie, it was the same. It was sort of the same thing. Well, everybody assumed they killed Cy the, the guy that wanted to unite all the gangs together. It was make this gang of uh from the Bro from uh Coney Island they're blamed for uh, they're framed for the murder of this Osiris guy and every all the gangs want to kill them pretty much but that's sort of what Harley's going through with every single mafia or gang that she ever her and the Joker ever wronged they're out for her but except it's not even really that cool because they don't really do much with it because it's just people they already introduced I guess in the well half in the movie or just random people that they made up for film but like it could have been so cool it's rated R and yet there's not really much I mean they cuss 
so I guess uh, that's why it's got an R rating. The action is pretty good, I will say. I haven't seen John Wick films, so I don't know how the choreography went. I know a lot of people said there were three shoots, and the guy that did John Wick did some of the uh, fight scenes for this film. But I thought they were pretty good uh, choreographed fight scenes. I, there was one scene where Harley just walks in a, a, a police station. Just does, She doesn't kill the police, but she like just shoots these red... Uh, I don't know what they are. These little red ball things in their faces. And threw it with a shotgun. I'm like, wow. And confetti shoots out of one of them. At them. And, uh... Yeah, she just marches in a in a police station. I'm like, nobody has a gun. You don't just pull your guns out and just... And even when she has her back turned, like, going to, uh, to the, the prison, uh... Section. Like, one of the cops, I'm sure he had his gun on his uh, belt and he couldn't have just gone up behind her while she was walking and just cap, cap her in the in the head back of the head or back or something but nope and then we have no movies so. but yeah uh, anyway I it's trying to be like Deadpool a little bit the female Deadpool where you have cursing and you have of course, Harley winking at the audience at the end, of course. Um, or tr trying to break the fourth wall. I don't have a problem with that, but... She... People... And then there... People uh, complained about the whole... Oh, this is a attack on being a man. On a man. If you're a man and you didn't like this movie, you're sexist and a jerk. Or just me. Uh, I don't dislike the film. I didn't mind it after watching. I was just, eh. I liked Margot Robbie as an actress. Um, Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Almost said Wednesday. Um, she's okay. I don't, I don't mind her. But again, she's not in the movie as much until the very when they do the final fight, they all meet together and we got band together and be like in the trailer. Um, what else? And the acting isn't bad except the girl that played Cassandra Kane, who's gonna be back girl, I guess. If they even after the back, not really backlash, but after the failed box office of this movie, I don't know about that. I know they're doing the Batgirl film and a Flash film that I'm not interested in. At least not that version. They're getting the guy that played him in the Batman in the Justice League. No. Get the guy from the TV series. He did a better... Uh, I forget his name. I haven't watched that series in a while. That's how you do the Flash, but okay. Um, to me... But yeah, this film, again, it's, it's alright. I don't want to say time waster, but, because there's stuff. It could have been, I don't want to say darker, because I know what they were doing. And it's hardly, but I would have liked it, but they did try to, I don't know. But then at the end of the day, you already know she, she overpowers everybody. Like, <laughs> again. My example in the police station. There's all these men, and she even takes out the prison guys. They're locked up when they get when they're in that the uh, the, the little prison riot thing in the there. They all come out and attack her, and she just beats them and whoops them. And... <laughs> Granted, she had gymnastics, but I don't even think she mentioned that in the film. But I guess if you already know her character, read the comics or whatever. Or cartoon, I guess you are you are automatically know that. <laughs> like some people, I assume I can imagine. Uh, how is she able to do all these flips and cartwheels and bend like that? <laughs> oh, and she buys a. I guess this was like a, a hum homage to the uh, animated series where she she has a pet uh, 
I think it's a hyena. Which was, she named it Bruce, was fun, that was kind of funny. But, um, yeah, I don't know really what else to say about it. It's a fun, I mean, I didn't really have fun, I, I chuckled at a few stuff, but, I wasn't really like, oh my god, this is so amazing. Like, no, just, at the end of the day, it's an alright time. I guess I have to say it's a time waster. But there's not really bad parts, but... Oh, and also Black Mask. Uh, the guy who played Obi-Wan Kenobi, I thought he did an interesting take on that character. Same with the Victor Zaz, who... I know in the Gotham uh, TV show, he reminds me of the Hitman. <laughs> like, Agent 40... Agent 47, he reminds me of. Because he always has two guns out, and he's bald, and he's a hit guy, essentially, in Gotham. But in this movie, he's a murderer, and he cuts himself for every victim that he cuts. And apparently, I guess he, he's a fan of Leatherface, because he cuts people's faces off, and I don't know what he does with them after. So I guess he took lessons watching Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Two. Um. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't mind the villain, even the way they kill him at the end, where he just. I'm like, how did he? I'm. Like, I'm he just blows up with. I guess. Like, uh. I guess she put somehow quickly or snuck a grenade in them, and then they push him off the edge and dock and then he blows into the water. <laughs> that's not even really that gory either. It was just pieces of it, but I guess that's gory. Yeah, overall, uh it's a oak it's a time waster. Not a bad film. It's not really directed bad, it's just you're there's no really uh there's not a lot of depth in the movie. Like it like there should be. They want us. They want to call this an empowering movie of Harley being on her own, and she doesn't really reflect on much of that because she cries at the beginning of broke uh, Joker breaking up with her, and then she tries to use leverage of because she knows if he if she's protected by him, nobody's gonna mess with her, so she tries to still use that, instead of deal being on her own, which she does at the end, kind of, but, and then she takes the Cassandra girl as her own, she, I do like the fact that they don't, they, she's sort of, she's an anti character where, cause she does try to sell the kid off, essentially, she does try to trade the kid for her life, so I, I sort of, I like that that she she even told her in in the store um if she tr tries to run or whatever she'll kill her she doesn't care that she's a kid so I sort of like they kept her not good and not bad but just in between you don't you don't know if you can really trust her at the end of the day or if she's so bat insane that uh, she can switch in a dime like that if there's something in it for her. But overall, the movie's just time waster. Uh, not bad. I'm just repeat myself. Anyway, um, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know your thoughts on the film. And um, if you liked it, or without any of the drama surrounding the film, I tried to not even. I don't look at that for as the film. I try to look at. It do I like the film, or when I go into film, so. But yeah, it's not really a bad made film. But yeah. Uh, peace and love.